Hello again. Welcome to Convos and Concoctions. I think I'm going to keep the title. I like it. Happy, what today is? Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, y'all. Um, feels like I haven't made a cocktail video in a long time. I wish I could do these twice a week, but I don't want to run out of drinks. Today, I'm going to make one of my favorite drinks. Pretty much like my friends know like, oh, he's going to get this. So it's a lychee martini. They mostly sell it at Asian spots. And as you know, Asian is one of my like favorite cuisines next to soul food. So yeah, like if it's an Asian restaurant, I'm gonna try the lychee martini. And I love it so much, you know, during this, you know, shutdown, lockdown, pandemic or whatever, you know, I still need to have my lychee martini. So like I told you on the last episode of Tall Order, you're gonna need vodka, lychee liqueur or triple sec, simple syrup, lychee juice. That's all you need. So yeah, let me give you the background. Again, Sveka Vodka. It's been a long, long shutdown. So yeah, I need to re-up on this vodka. Very good, mid tier you know, cheap vodka. That's still good and not like, you know, paint thinner. So the background on this. So a lot of places uses this lychee liqueur. I think there's another brand of lychee liqueur as well. It's really hard to find this. Like I found this at a place in the Upper East Side in New York. It's not that expensive, but it's not made in the US. It's made in Amsterdam. So uh, yeah, if you can find it, great. It's called Bowls, B-O-L-S. Go to your local liquor store and see if they have it. It is a lychee liqueur. And if you don't have a lychee liqueur, just use regular triple sec. It should be fine. Then you have the um, simple syrup and lychee juice. So this is the brand of lychee juice that I use. This is the only lychee juice that I kind of am familiar with. If you want to buy regular lychees and get juice out of that, fine. But just as long as some type of lychee juice. I found this at the grocery store. Yeah, hopefully you can find it. All right, so yeah, I have my martini glass. I have my shaker set. Let's start. All right, so you have your jigga, and it rhymes with, you know, two ounces, one ounce. So your two ounces of vodka. I might put a little bit extra because it's me. Take the lychee liqueur or your triple sec, and you're just gonna put one ounce. Gotta make sure the shit don't fall over. Lychee juice, let me shake this up. I'm going to do two ounces. Should be enough. Then you're going to do half an ounce of simple. You don't want it to be too sweet. Or if you want it sweet, that's fine as well. So this next part is optional, but this is just more so for aesthetic purposes. So if you have some cranberry juice lying around, just put like a, like a thimble of cranberry juice just so you can have like a nice little pink color if you want to again it's not for the taste it's more so just for the color of it that's why I didn't really include it in the cocktail because it's not really you know that big of a deal but if you're having a party and you want a pink drink you know yeah you're gonna shake for 20 seconds of course or just sing the chorus of my neck my back you want to make sure it's very foamy so make sure you shake it And there you have it. It's a nice little faint pink little cocktail. Mm. It's damn good. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. I might have to make me one more of those. So, I just want to make a very special shout out to a special supporter that um, donated to get me a bar table for my future videos. Andrea, I don't want to put your whole name out there, but I really appreciate it. Like, I was almost close to just like shedding a tear. Like, it just really like touches me that people, just the support, you know, it's still surreal. Like, I don't do this. So thank you, Andrea. I appreciate the donation. Um, I purchased it off of Amazon. She got me a portable bartending table for the videos, for future videos, and I'm so excited. Like, thank you so much. It is very much so appreciated. I really do. Ooh, you hear that thunder? Oh my God. Yeah, it's, 
It's shitty outside, and I'm definitely staying in. Again, thank you, Andrea. So I'm going to touch on a few topics, you know, what's going on. So last night, I'm sure a bunch of you uh, saw part three, or attempt three, of Babyface versus Teddy Riley. Now, you know, I was there on time. I didn't smoke my good weed yet, and I didn't have a drink, because I was just like, you know what? I don't want to put my expectations too high. So we got on, and... You know, took a little minute for Babyface to get on. Um, Teddy was in the studio by himself. Thank God. Babyface finally gets on. So many people are entering the room that Instagram kind of like crashes a little bit. It didn't work on the mobile app, for at least for some people. You had to watch it on your laptop already. So apparently they kept going, so I caught it three songs in. So I missed like a couple of bops or whatever. But... I was watching the majority of it on the laptop. I was feeling it. Like once we once we finally got into it, I was like getting it. Like I was just like, damn, Bobby Brown, you got Michael Jackson, Tony Braxton. He played some TLC. It was it was going good. And then, you know, later on, I guess, you know, the live restarts after an hour. We had to get it back in. Well, actually during the whole thing, like it looked like Teddy Riley still was causing issues more so because of his internet. His shit wasn't charged. I'm just like, oh, goodness. Babyface was fine the entire time. I mean, yes, they are both legends. I'm not taking that away from either of them. But I'm just saying, like, they need to, they need to like, uh, clean that up for next time. Or at least, I don't want to say get younger people, but just... I don't know. I'm trying to think of what platform they can use. Just something where it can just go off without a hitch, you know? At the end of the day, it's all free. It's all free, and we're being entertained during this fucking horrific time we're in. So then around, like, I want to say, like, the 17th or 18th song, like, Teddy's cam feed just freezes. And, you know, they try to restart it, and then they had at least 500,000 people in the room. And then you have a couple other 100,000 people trying to get in. So after that, after they got knocked off, it was impossible for them to add each other on after that. To the point where Instagram had to come in and say, y'all, it's not Teddy Riley's fault. Go easy on them. It's our fault. Whatever. So afterward, like, once they was like, okay, we can't do this anymore, Teddy Riley plays a couple things on his live, and then Babyface, whose live I just went to, he ended it on... The Whitney Houston and um, I believe CC Winans. Please correct me, y'all. I don't have time to like look it up, but it was the Count on Me song, and then he went into the um, When You Believe with Mariah and Whitney, and that ended it on such a great note. You know, at least we got something. We got something out of it, and we don't have to do it a fourth time. So that's it. Like that's it for that. Wrap the ball on it. It's done. Thank God. So who's next? Who I want to see next. Well, I want to see a female battle, for one. I wouldn't mind seeing Candy against Esther Dean. I would love to see Missy Elliott. But I feel like... I'm trying to think what woman is on her level. Like, maybe Diane Carroll? Is that her name? She's like the songwriter. I'm not really familiar. Or we could put Missy against Dark Child. Just something easy. Someone else said Dr. Dre and Diddy. And I totally agree with that. I think they're both on the same level. I think that would be a great matchup. I don't know why Tim and Swizz are saying pay-per-view, because I ain't paying for that. Especially on Instagram, no. No siree, no. We shall see. I mean, I would love to see, you know, a versus battle continue, but they need to do it right, because this shit that happened last night was stressful. So for y'all that are living in, you know, Atlanta, Georgia, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that your governor is trying to kill you and trying to, like, lift the uh, the ban. I'm, I'm kind of nervous about that. Like, I think we need a little bit more time. I want to say at least late May, early June, and start up slowly. But they're opening up this week? I don't know about that. I mean, keep me posted, y'all, like whoever's in um, Georgia. Because, you know, I used to live in Atlanta for five years, all my good people are there so i'm sure they'll keep me posted as well but y'all please stay safe speaking of georgia and atlanta we had the housewives uh season finale come on um this past sunday and i want to say i was a little um 
underwhelmed. Um, it was very anticlimactic. Uh, we had, who was it? Candy's baby shower. And, I mean, they had a little almost skirmish between Kenya and Nini. Yawn. I don't know. And then the whole drama is opening up with Mama Joyce again. Yawn. Portia. I mean, I love Portia as a character, but... Her and Dennis, yawn. Cynthia going back to LA, yawn. Eva, yawn, yawn. Come on. I, I I need new ladies. I really do. We need a refresh. Someone hit the refresh button, please. During the whole season finale, I was kind of on my phone. It just felt like it was just like I was just watching background. So the reunion, um, I think it's April 26th. It I don't know what's going on. It's supposed to be like a Zoom type of situation. Hopefully that works out. Right now I'm hearing that they're supposed to do like a, a season 12 extra secret show. I'm like, Lord. I, I don't know. We need to just put a pen in this season. Let's just get right to Potomac. Because it's just unfortunate all this is happening that it ruined the Atlanta reunion. Because... Honestly, I said this on Pop Roast, but I'll say it on here. The show itself, like the franchise as a whole, hasn't been great since, I want to say, season six. But they will always make up for it on the reunion. And now that the reunion's a little compromised now, I don't really know. I just think maybe they should just, you know, cut it. Clip it. Something. Well, that's it for my little, you know, take on what's going on right now. Um, of course... Tune in to Pop Roast. You'll hear the rest of this week's mess and tea. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll have another drink for next week. I'm trying to think. Let me know what you want me to make. I have tequila. I have vodka. But I think the next one is going to be... Um, maybe it's going to be like a simple vodka cocktail. Because you just can't go wrong with vodka. Or I could just do a classic margarita. It'll probably be either a margarita or it'll be... Maybe like a vodka cocktail. Thank y'all. I'm over the monetization threshold. And just to give you an update, I'm waiting on Instagram. Not Instagram. I'm waiting on YouTube to approve my channel to be monetized. So yeah. Uh, if you want to donate, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo at the bottom. Thank you so much for the support. And I will see you soon.